Hello! Welcome to my Industrial Craft 2 tutorial on Tesla Cores. It's a major Industrial Craft 2. This is Little Furnace here. We're going to teach you how to make these babies. Right, now what these do is they're Tesla Cores uh, and they shock anything that's animals, villagers, mobs, you, your friends. Uh, in a 9x9x9 nine by nine by nine radius. So you got 9 that way, 9 up, 9 that way. Um, and right, first of all, you need a medium voltage transformer, just a machine block, uh, and the two insulated gold cables. You should know a machine block to start the refined iron. Uh, the gold cables are that's so complicated. That's the way I use. I use gold cable, which is just the free gold, uh, and then two rubber, and that makes your MV transformer. You only need to power it now, so you need an MFE. Which is the four energy crystals, which are just diamonds surrounded by redstone. Uh, the two inlet gold cables and uh, machine block. Now you can, since this is, uh, I'm playing on Feed the Beast. I don't know if these are, I think these are with uh, industrial craft. These lithium batteries are a lot cheaper as they have aluminium, which I won't go into now, uh, and lithium cells and a gold cable, which is cheaper than a diamond. Right now, the lithium cells. It's four clay dust in a industrial centrifuge, and that will get you a lithium cell and a silicon cell. Uh, both very useful things to own. Right next, you have you need an no electronic circuit, which is redstone, your fine iron, and your red urn of redstone, surrounded by copper cables. The copper cables are of course just copper, and then the rubber on top and bomb. Right. Now all together, this is you have the medium voltage transformer in the middle, uh, surrounded top bit by redstone, you another refined iron there and there, uh, and your electronic circuit. Right now, this is where they get fun. So I have over here uh, a little thing I've set up. It's got like, advanced solar panels here, which I'll teach you to make later. But with Grow Tech, I use because I like the challenge. Uh, your MFE. And in test call. That's just one. You can have probably four or five of these going and they just zap anything. With an MFE and the way I've got it set up, it should kill this creeper in about two hits, but it's pretty quick. With that box it takes about seven hits, which is why I picked using an MFE. I the reason I picked a creeper with those because I hate creepers. They ninja me like all the time and blow up my machines. I rage. <laughs> anyway, put him on here. Uh, give him a little nudge. Bam, dead. How quick was that? And then you can loot the spoils. Uh, however, you've got to be careful because if you're in the radius when it goes off, it can and will kill you. Uh, there's no doubt about that. Because it's one hit to the player if powered by an NFE, which is one of the good things using the bat box because it will take two. But other than that, I don't see any point in using it. I don't think they use a lot of power. They use about, I think it's, I guess, 1,000 uh, per charge. So, not a huge amount. Especially if you've got like, a good setup like this, paranoia machines and that. So, that's the end of my tutorial. And hope you guys are having a great day. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And, yeah.